a verse that many times I hear people trying to explain and do a lot of damage because it puts people that have trusted Christ questioning their salvation. And that doesn't need to happen. Always remember, verses that are clear and simple that tells you exactly what salvation is, that you simply trust Christ as Savior, it's by grace, it's not of your works. And then they come along and they see a verse that they can't explain and so they try to put evidences of salvation in the verse. And if you don't have this evidence in your life, then you've got to question whether you're saved or not. Uh, one of those verses is found here in the book of 1 Corinthians in chapter 6, where it makes a statement, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor uh, adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, or extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So if you do any of those things, then you can't go to heaven. And so people think, well, what, what if I do these things? And that means I never was really saved or I must have lost my salvation. How do you explain this? Well, remember, 1 Corinthians is written to believers, not written to the lost man, written to believers. And there were Christians that were not serving God. They were not growing and maturing in the Lord. So he says in chapter 3, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, as unto babes in Christ. He said, I fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it, yet now are you not able. For ye are yet carnal. And whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? In other words, you're saved, but you're living like a lost man. So you don't have the discernment that you need to have. So one of the problems that they had here in the Corinthian church, they were going to court against each other. And so he says in chapter 6, in verse 2, Do you not know that you shall judge the saints? And do you not know, in verse 3, that you're going to judge the angels? So if you're going to do this, can't you judge among the smallest matters concerning yourself? He said, but you have fault. You are wrong in doing something, and that is you're taking your brother to court before the unbeliever. And that's what he says in verse 6. But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before the unbeliever. So you've got to put verses in its context. And so in verse 8 he says, you do wrong. You do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. So this in, in verse 9 and 10 he says, this is the description of the lost man. Know ye not that the unrighteous, see that's the lost man, and he cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Then you look in verse 11 and 12, this is the saved man. This is you. Why would you, as a Christian, go to the lost man to settle your disputes? Because the lost man isn't saved. The lost man is not right. The lost man hasn't been justified. Why don't you settle these things among yourself? And even though you have perhaps the right, as he says down in verse 12, all things are lawful for me. You may have the law on your side. You can legally do it. But he also says, but all things are not expedient. In other words, I don't have to. You don't have to do it just because you can. So he makes a statement in verse 11. And such were some of you, you used to be lost, but ye are washed. Ye are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. He just said they were Christians. He just said they were doing things wrong. He was just telling us that you shouldn't go to the lost man to settle their disputes among yourself. So he says, you can do this. And he says, if you don't, then you're sinning against the Lord. And you're causing weaker brothers to stumble. So that's why he says in verse 19, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you're not your own? For you are bought with a the price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. He says, you belong to the Lord. And yes, you have an old sinful nature, and you're still wronging people. And that's the explanation that I use many times is, first birth, sinful. Second birth, holy. Don't let the lost man sit in judgment on spiritual issues. And I hope this verse 
explains what this is talking about here in the scriptures. Thank you and God bless.